Thought you might like a peek at the innards of a BSR deck. This is a miniature one, I know, but uh, they mostly use the same sort of setup. This gear here, which is made of Mazak or alloy, drives the auto changer. There's a cam inside there which rides round. Right, if I take this surtlip off, you can see for yourself. Then you just withdraw that. And that controls the movement of the arm. See? As you can see, it's full of waxy grease. I've given it a good squirt of WD and it's uh, melting it all down back to grease nicely, actually. This little thing here should be able to spin around its shaft and it was seized and I've managed to unseize that. You can see the mounting points for the boat are here. It's on the rubberized mounting, so be careful spraying WD around them. The drive is by idler wheel, and uh, these are a very common thing on BSRs. Most decks had them, and they even used them in their tape decks, you know, the old reel-to-reel -reel tape decks. There was one of those in there, I think it, it was either the Fast Forward or the Rewind, and I can't remember which now, but it was exactly the same part. And that little bearing there looks as dry as a bone. You can see here how it changes gear to play the different speeds of records. In its lowest gear, it plays at 16 RPM. Moving the idler here downwards onto this part of the spindle gives you 33 and there's 45 and the biggest one of course 78 rpm it's a direct drive it's a little shaded pole motor down there and uh, that has a winding on there that runs the amp and uh, you'll quite often find that in older equipment with valves in too especially if they're the sort that uh, has the speaker on the front and the idler wheel simply runs on the inside of the turntable Inside the turntable on the boss is the driving gear that turns the gear that does the auto changer mechanism. On some later ones they were plastic and uh, that, that wasn't so good, needless to say. And you'll find something like this inside most modern VCRs too. This setup here. There's a wheel in there with quite a few different channels on it nine times out of ten and that does all the functions of the the deck so in the end of course being plastic they wear and uh, that's when your vcr starts eating tapes and mucking about yeah. it's a pain in the arse why they couldn't stick with the old jvc video star and build them like tanks i'll never know but there you are Anyway, I've got to put this thing back together and uh, oil up a few more parts. The motor itself here has two felt pads and center bronze bearings. And they will need oiling. Uh, the center bronze acts as a reservoir for the oil and the, uh, the felt pad as a sort of holding tank for the oil as well. I got called out a while ago to an old lady at the flats I go to, the sheltered accommodation, and she was very upset that her record player wouldn't work. And she said, there's a hum through the speakers, and if I put the tone arm on the record and turn it by hand, it makes a sound. And the reason was that this spring had snapped. It had got a bit rusty and just parted. And what this spring does is to hold the idler wheel in tension against the motor here and the inside of the turntable. So, uh, there you are, amazing the rubbish I remember, but uh, people keep telling me it's just as well I do remember. Anyway, God, got to think about doing something for lunch in a minute. Right, we are. Well, must love you and leave you. See you again soon.